you want to level up in his shrouded as fast as you can because you want to take advantage of the higher tier weapons the higher tier armor and also you want to make sure that you're going to survive in the shroud and as well against all the other enemies today i'm going to be explaining to you two different methods that you're going to be able to level up one of them is the basic way which once you come in you're going to set your flame altar after you set your flame altar you're going to do your crafting and repair bench so the next thing is very important and what you want to do is you need to unlock the blacksmith once you go and rescue him from your pod you're going to bring him here to your location to your base once you create a little section for him and you set him and then he's going to give you two amazing things one he's going to give you the ability to upgrade your weapons which you can check out the video in the description on how to upgrade weapons early and make them very op and two he's going to provide you with is this nice very good starting armor that's going to give you nice negation against fire against physical damage ice and different things that are going to be able to um you're going to be able to encounter in and shroud it now after this you're going to go and do the following and this is the first method he's going to have uh different type of quest lines that you're going to be able to go they're very short they're probably going to take you between i would say maybe some of them is going to be five minutes and some of them of course might take you like half an hour to an hour to complete now it all depends on the different scale of the quest so if we're able to go into our journal take a look such as like the hunter's hand spindle this one is going to give me 150 xp but on top of this it's going to provide me with the quest line where it's going to allow me to get different chests which will have different weapons so that is why it's very important that you level up in the game because as you progress it all depends on the level that you're going to be the type of weapon level range that you're going to be able to get so that is why it's very important if you want to follow the quest line you can do this now on top of this if you are doing the quest line you're also going to be able to get xp by doing the following things like reading the lords if you see a book read it it might give you between 10 and also 50 xp and eventually that is going to add up another good thing is as you are completing different quest lines and you go through different type of areas and you discover them those are one of the best ways to be able to get really good xp you're able to get up to 500 xp depending on the section that you're going to so that is going to be a good chunk of xp that is going to allow you to level up now if you are the type that loves to explore and wants to get right into the game really quickly then we're going to do the following and this is going to be my method that is going to help you not only level up in the game but also get the best weapons really fast early and also unlock the potential of just level upgrading your weapons and also getting better armor and that is going to be the following you're going to need to make sure that you're going to level up your flame altar to level two why you need to do this because it's going to give you four flames that you're going to be able to place in the different locations of this humongous map by the way so if we open open up our map and we are able to take a look at our world you're going to be able to see how much i've been progressing now as you are able to see here this is the beginning the cinder vault this is my home base at level two what allows me to do is that i'm able to create two more altars and take it with me so if i go all the way to the left side i'm able to place an altar in this location and then also place an altar in another in this top location and also for higher and better loot i was able to place one here at very very high now of course 
it depends where you're going to place your altar. As an example, right from the get-go, we're going to go to this location and you're going to be able to focus on the Excelsior wells. And you, that is why it's very important that you set your altars to all these different locations. So as you see here, it's all the different uh, purple colors. I hope that's purple. And here's another purple and here's another purple. And also if we go to the top here, here is another Elsier well. Why do you need to do that? And here's another one and here's another one. The reason why you wanna do that is because by doing all these different ones, you're going to maximize how much XP you're going to get. You're going to get a lot more XP than just by completing different quest lines. So as an example, you are able to repeat this, I believe it's going to be every five gaming days. So every five gaming days, you're going to be able to farm all these locations. So in my case, I have the following. I have one, I have two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I'm able to do that every five days of of course game days now one good tip is that you can do is you can always sleep during nighttime and automatically instead of spending minutes and minutes you're able to do this like in 30 seconds and come back again during the daylight so let me show you how much xp you're going to be able to get so you're going to be able to farm those different uh, root shrouds or shroud roots but the great thing about them is that you're going to have a lot of enemies around it you're also going to have bosses that you're going to drop good loot so overall and the higher you go up the more higher the more xp you're going to get by killing bosses and killing different enemies as you go through them and then on top of that you're going to get good weapons and also different type of resources and materials that you're going to need to be able to progress during the game. So as we make our way down, I'm going to show you, and we are going to be able to kill this guy that's up ahead, as you are able to see there. Now, as you see, we're going to be able to take him out. Once I take him out, I'll show you guys how much XP you're going to be able to get. So once we take him out, you're gonna be able to see, take him out really quick, right there, miss my shot but it's okay. See how fast I was able to do that. And then you come to the shroud and you are able to use your ax. And then you saw how much uh, XP gave me just on that boss. On top of this, you're going to see the different materials that you're going to get. And then also, this is a very good way to get epic and legendary weapons that are going to help you become a very OP. Now, from the second method, I did mention to you, so the higher you go up, the more higher level enemies you're going to get. If you wanna focus on that, that will be a good strategy because those will provide you with a lot more XP, especially if you go into the Shroud at later game or midway, you're going to be able to find different flowers that seems like they're alive you kill them and they're going to give you a good chunk of 60 xp they're easy to kill and then on top of that you're also going to get see like this one is a level 11 but since you have your weapons leveled up you're going to be able to get plus 60 right there and then we take out this guy and also as you saw those those little beetles they're very easy to kill and you are able to also farm for them and we also have different uh, beetles coming as you see in the shroud once you get into shroud you're going to get overwhelmed with a bunch of enemies so you're going to need to make sure that you survive but those are the different ways that you're going to be able to level up fast in the game very important that you do it because you want to take advantage of those op weapons and make sure you grab them especially legendary and epic so I hope this video was very helpful to you. If it did, a like is appreciated. Also consider subscribing to the channel for more Enshrouded videos coming your way.